What's up, guys? Natty and Sam's here for another very exciting episode of Run Out Added Stuff. This is a white noise generator. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. Now, if you've ever done an interview outside or you have wind noise or traffic noise, you know how distracting that sound can be from your interview audio. And this is gonna be a really useful tool if you have the whole Adobe Creative Cloud suite and you have access to Audition to remove noise from your audio. I find that the adaptive noise reduction inside of Premiere doesn't really work that well. It sounds robotic and kind of funky, but if you have Audition, I highly recommend using it it's a great program. So let's open up Adobe Audition. We're gonna do some noise reduction today and I'm excited. All right, I know I said to open up Audition first, but you're probably gonna be coming from Premiere to Audition when you do this kind of noise reduction. And it's super easy to get your clip into Audition. You just right click on it and go to edit clip in Adobe Audition and it will automatically open the program for you and drop in your waveform. Now, I am wearing headphones. I wasn't wearing headphones before. It's not a continuity thing. I just wanna be able to hear what I'm doing and it doesn't bleed into the mic that I have set up here, so just bear with me here. Let's go back to Audition. Here's our clip. This is a white noise generator. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. So one thing you're gonna to wanna to do in Premiere is you're actually gonna to wanna to keep a little bit of the noise either at the end or the beginning so that you can capture a noise print. And you'll see what we're gonna do right now. So right here, I know that this is my white noise. So I'm actually just gonna drag over this and I'm gonna come up to effects, noise reduction, and then noise reduction process. And that will open up this window here. And the first thing you do is you hit this button called capture noise print. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna capture the noise floor that you're trying to get rid of. So the next thing you do is you actually pull your little looping region over the area that you're gonna wanna do noise reduction on so that you can start affecting everything on your timeline here that needs the noise reduction. So immediately when I play this, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise. You can kind of hear that it's doing a little bit of a good job, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're actually gonna to wanna to pull these little uh, handles up on either side of the left and right so that the green is matching the yellow as much as humanly possible. And now when I play this, it's from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio, it actually, is starting to sound pretty good already without having to do much work here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just create a couple more points here, and I'm just gonna try to match this up as best as I possibly can without touching any of the sliders down here, just so that I, I'm getting the noise floor just lined up with what the noise floor in Audition is trying to do. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's listen back. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition. I mean, that sounds pretty clean to me, but let's go over what's doing down here. So this first slider here, noise reduction, if you see, if I move the slider down, it'll actually start to move my noise floor down towards zero. And if I play this, and today I'm gonna to be showing you it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna raise this up a little bit higher, right around the 50, 60 range is usually good for me, but you can start from way high and then move it lower to get a good result. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound. All right, that sounded pretty good to me. The next slider down here is your reduce noise by. Right here it said default 21, but if we start playing with that number. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. I think right around 21 has actually sounded pretty good for me. So uh, you can reduce the noise. If you bring it down lower towards here on the left-hand side, more noise will be incorporated in your audio. And that's obviously not what you want. You want less noise, but you don't want it to sound so robotic. So we just have to play with these parameters a little bit. The next one over here that I want to cover under advanced, uh, you just click this little down arrow, is the spectral decay rate. Now, what I recommend is starting at 100. And as you play back your audio, start moving it down closer to zero until the noise goes away just enough to, so it doesn't like degrade the signal. You know what I'm saying? And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. All right, that's pretty good. And then you have your smoothing right here and your transition width. I don't really recommend going any higher than like three or four on your transition width. And your smoothing, you're gonna kind of have to just like play around with it and see if it'll do anything for and you. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. Nice. I'm actually liking the way that this sounds and I'm actually gonna come over here and I'm gonna make this noise reduction happen halfway through the clip so you can hear what I'm actually talking about. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in, like listen to that difference. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm actually gonna click apply here and it's gonna actually render just the part where I have my ins and outs set. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to effects and I'm gonna come up to EQ and I'm gonna go to parametric equalizer. And basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start EQing it so that I get out any uh, additional bad frequencies from my audio. Move noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. 
So basically what you're doing with this EQ is uh, if you've never used an EQ before, the left hand side is going to be your low frequencies, mid range frequencies and high end frequencies. And you're going to want to add some frequencies back in that the noise reduction is taking out. So you can see I'm kind of boosting my high mid frequencies here. I'm dipping out some low end frequencies and I'm just trying to make this sound just a little bit better from the noise reduction. But you obviously can just use the noise reduction if you want and your audio is going to sound tremendously better if there's traffic noise or wind noise or random white noise if you have a white noise generator with you, uh, which I don't recommend on any interviews. But this is going to help your audio sound significantly better. Now, I think that sounds really good. I'm going to click apply. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the very beginning of my clip and I'm just going to hit control S on the keyboard and it will save that session. And if I pop back over into Premiere, it should automatically update on my timeline with what I did in Adobe Audition. And if you pop over where your audio file is saved, uh, there should be a new file in there called audio extracted and that should be your clip. So if I play this down here on the timeline, this is a white noise generator. And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove noise from audio in Adobe Audition to make your audio sound a little bit cleaner. And there you go, you've just done some noise reduction in Adobe Audition and you should feel pretty good about that. Take these off because we're done. So let's recap on some things to remember. Number one, you're going to want to leave either heads or tails on your interview audio clip that has the noise in it so you can capture the noise print. You cannot capture the noise print within some audio being spoken or else it's not going to sound good and you're going to get some really terrible results. Number two, right clicking in Premiere and opening an audition, all you have to do is save that audition session and then come back over to Premiere and it should automatically update on your timeline, which saves a lot of time. If for whatever reason it doesn't auto update on your timeline, here's how you export it out of audition. Back over in audition now, I'm going to come up to file, export, file. And I'm just going to name this whatever I want. So we'll do noise reduced and you're going to tell it where to save. There you go. And we're going to save it as a WAV file at 44.1, 32-bit. Hit OK. And it should export the file. Let's make sure that it did. And it should save the file. There we go. Noise reduced. And then you can always just take that back into Premiere here and just drag it and drop it into your project. And now you have your noise reduction clip down on the timeline. If for whatever reason yours doesn't auto update, sometimes it gets a little funky. Number three, play with your settings and your sliders because your audio is going to sound different than mine. So you can't plug in the exact same numbers and get the same results. You'll have to just kind of mess with it a little bit. But the more you mess with it, the more you will start to see it taking shape and sounding a little bit better. And number four, when all is said and done with your noise reduction, drop an EQ on there and just kind of take away or add back in those frequencies that you're losing from the noise reduction to try to even out the audio as best as possible. Well, guys, I hope it was a helpful tutorial today. I just had to show somebody else how to do this the other day. So I figured again, I would just share the wealth, spread the knowledge, and hopefully you guys will get your interview audio sounding just a little bit cleaner. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you made we do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. I'm really excited next week. I'm going to be announcing a really cool partnership for this channel that I think will benefit you and me as well. But more about that next week. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I will see you next time.